Sean Heslip, I'm 17, I'm from Matamata College, my dad's a dairy farmer and I'm just finding out more about the rural servicing industry. A bit of knowledge about farming will help you out as you explore the varied roles available at RD1, a chain of retail stores that look after the needs of New Zealand's farmers. Peter Wright, an RD1 store manager, will be showing you all the possibilities. Hi, hey. Peter Wright. Sean. Sean. Um, I understand your dad's dairy farmer? Yeah, he is. Yep. Grew, up, grew up on the farm all my life. Fantastic. All right, we'll get you into the shirt and yep. we'll have a look around the shop. Cool. There's certain qualities that, uh, that are looked for within RD1 because at different times farmers do become very stressed uh, and most of that is just keeping a level head, um, being able to empathise with what's going on the farm, knowing what's happening, what stresses and, and so on that they're coming under. Customer service and product knowledge are the key ingredients for helping a farmer make good choices. So Peter takes Sean around RD1's range. We'll come down into the animal health area. Some of these items you would have recognised on farm that, yep. that Dad sort of used and so on at different times of the year. So is there any dangers in administering that, the wrong products to the cows? Absolutely, yeah, yeah. Um, if a cow's given too much of a certain product, you'll kill it, um, which <laughs> we can do without. That's why there's so much training done at different times of the year. There's different stresses come on animals. We all need to, to be upskilled and, and trained in, in different things that are required. Again, so we can give the right product to the customer. Down into uh, clothing, we've got uh, unstained overalls, as far as no cow stuff on them. Um, all the way through to your, your wet weather gear, which is, you, know, you don't want to get wet on farm, because otherwise that, that truly makes for a miserable day. RD1's philosophy is that career development. Uh, there's definitely uh, plans in, in place, steps, for managing right the way through from when you first join the company. One of those future steps could be as a technical sales representative visiting farmers on site. The shorthand name is TSR and Tom is going to show Sean the ropes on a visit to Shear Milka Corey. We are an extension of the RD1 stores. Uh, we provide technical knowledge around the whole business and we come out on farm to basically help the farmers and what we're trying to do is make sure we're bringing the most up to date information to farmers like Corey to give him the best opportunity to make the right decisions for what he wants to do. What we want to do today is um, do a particular soil test. So I'll get you to um, go along and, and, and fill these bags. Soil tests are an important part of monitoring nutrient levels in paddocks. The TSR's work helps to determine the types of fertiliser needed to get optimum growth, which is at the heart of a farmer's productivity. A big part of our role is making sure that we're up to date with new products and training. So um, essentially to become a TSR, we would recommend people start in the stores, they get familiar with the products and then essentially get themselves up through through management or and that's when they can either choose to be a store manager or they can choose to look at the TSR role and by that time they've had a number of years to, to get to understand the products, get a lot of training under their belt. So what other things do you help the farmer with? In this role we've got to be constantly looking out for new opportunities within the farm system. Every farm's different. If we take an example like these weeds down here, like they're right through the pasture, dock and penny royal what we can do is offer and bring new products to actually get rid of these particular weeds to maximise the ryegrass and clover growth. The products Corey needs have to be sourced, priced and delivered to the stores, which means going to head office in Hamilton to check out Sean's other career opportunities. G'day Sean. Hey. How are you? Not too bad. Good, good. Have a seat. So you're here to learn about procurement? Yeah. Right. I'm responsible for the animal health, nutrition and seed categories currently. That, that involves um, travelling to China to, um, to buy the likes of magnesium and zinc um, and also negotiate with our internal vendors within New Zealand to buy uh, at the best possible prices for us to deliver value to our, our shareholders, the Fonterra farmers. Sharon from the Agriculture ITO is here to deliver the latest batch of graduate certificates to Human Resources Advisor Josh before discussing how they will customise new courses to RD1's needs. So it's specifically for you oh, great. and your people. Okay. Both parties will benefit from the qualifications. The customers will get better service, the companies tend to get better loyalty and likewise the trainee is trusted more because they have that knowledge. So there are many opportunities for advancement in the world of rural servicing, but where did they all start? Started fresh out of school at our Tiara store in the Inwards Goods and um, sweeping the floor and doing all, the, um, all of those jobs. And I started in the contact centre in Hamilton in the head office there and then 
positions became available in the Patera store. I just did the real-time experience in the store, went up through managing the store and did that for a number of years. We did the big boss Nick Berry, general manager of RD1 start out then. Well I started sweeping the floor in Waihee branch, that was uh, 23 years ago. I guess for young fellas coming into the business, the, the advice I would give is, is work really hard, be passionate about your what doing and, um, and look after RD1 and RD1 will look after you. So it's back to the store to hone those sales skills that are at the heart of it all. We've got Andrew here today from True Test. Um, Andrew, this is Sean. Pleased to meet you, Sean. Um, he's going to outline some of the, uh, the benefits of this unit and as a little challenge for you, I'm going to come back in a few minutes and be a customer and uh, you can have a crack at selling this to me. No farmer's going to listen to someone who doesn't know the inner workings of this electric fence unit. So Sean has two minutes to learn it all. So what's the remote used for? Well the remote's very similar to your TV remote. You place this on your fence and it turns the electric fence off. It's also a fault finder. Now it's time to see how good a salesman he really is. Hi. Um, looking for a, an energizer. Yep, we've got the Stafix M36R here. What size farm are you on? I've got a 400 hectare farm. Yep, this does from 250 hectares to 1000 hectares, so you should be right. Yep, yep. Is it remote capable at all? or? Yep, it is. It's got this remote here, which you can just, it's a fault finder as well, so if you put on your fence, you can find your fault, and when you find your fault, you can just turn it off, and then fix your fault, and turn it back on again when you're done. Oh, wicked. That's going to save a lot of time. Yep. All right, I'll take one of those, thanks. The experience oh. is over. So is there a career for Sean in retail servicing? All through it, Sean's been, uh, been brilliant, really. He's uh, shown enthusiasm, he's uh, asked the right questions, and, and, and been able to sell as well, which has been good. Uh, the interesting part of the experience would have been getting on the farm with the TSR and seeing his side of the job, yeah. I think it'd be a great career path to get into with all the different branches and steps you can move into, yeah. The Primary Industry Training Organisation offers training to help people wanting to progress through the rural servicing industry. The National Certificate in Rural Servicing includes optional unit standards relevant to the business they are working in and their interests. Supporting local content so you can see more of New Zealand on air.